Hi guys, Jared here with Day Traders FX. Nice to be with you all. This is a quick video on how to use TradingView to trade with your Forex broker. A lot of us use MetaTrader or even the broker's native platform. Um, if your broker trades and connects with TradingView, uh, sometimes this is a really good option just for entering those manual trades because it's so easy. The other thing is, you can use TradingView, especially if you're a Mac user and your broker like Oanda or Forex.com may be uh, specifically using MetaTrader. Of course, they have their own platforms and web-based platforms as well. Uh, but TradingView, in my opinion, is a really good, really easy way to execute trades um, through your broker. So this is how we do it. Uh, when you open up your TradingView charts here and, and see all of your details here, like stock screener notes, Pine Editor, all this stuff down here, you want to click on trading panel if you click on that you'll see that you can select from a list of brokers right oanda most in the u.s are kind of with oanda or forex.com those are kind of the two predominant forex brokers in the u.s so you can connect with your oanda broker or your forex.com broker um, or whatever country you're in uh, they may have some other options and so on but let's just say that you you find your list of brokers here um, and you connect with them. We're just going to use the paper trading account because the setup is the exact same. If you're using Oanda, you're going to connect that way, and you're just it'll bring up a sign-in page. Uh, it'll say live or a demo account with Oanda, uh, and you can go that route. Um, same thing with Forex.com. Uh, you you click on that, and it's going to ask you to sign into Forex.com. Uh, so there's those those ways you can go there. Uh, let's just use paper trading because it'll be the exact same process. We're going to hit connect here and that's going to get us connected to paper trading and here we see that uh, um, now we have paper trading listed down here if you sign into your broker it'll say oanda live or forex.com live or whatever your your broker is right there in that in that uh, area in my case it says paper trading because i'm just connecting to the paper trading account now when you want to execute a trade there's a couple of things you can do you can click over here on the uh, on, on this settings button here and it's going to say show buy and sell buttons and you can also click on show order panel and that'll bring that up what I tend to do the most is just a right click and create new order that brings it up as well so either way when you're paper trading when you're when your uh, account is open here you can either right click and create on, uh, or click on create new order or you can uh, click on this gear settings button here that uh, will allow you to open the order panel. Either way, now we're going to have uh, the scenario of how do we put an order in and what are these sizes and so on. If we want to get in at market, meaning just whatever the current price is, we're going to click at market. And then we're going to click whether we want to sell because the market, the chart's going down, or we want to buy because it's going up. And at market will just get us right in uh, at the current price. Now this size down here, is going to give us a general idea of how much uh, we're going to be making or risking per trade. 1,000 units, you can see, is about 0.1 USD, so that's 10 cents a pip. Uh, if we go in uh, at uh, 10,000 units, so we throw another zero on there, that's now a dollar a pip, right? That's a dollar a pip and, uh, and, and, and so on. So there we go. Um, and you can just keep adding to it. You want to add another, you know, another bit on there. That's ten dollars a pip. So you can just, you know, add and take away the zeros, do all that stuff there. Um, so that's our trade size. If you want to use a take profit, meaning, you know, where you want to get out in profit, you click on this, and you can use whichever one of these you want. If you adjust one or the other, it will adjust all. So if you say, okay, I want to make one percent on this trade, right? one percent it's going to say at this trade size with the size of account that we have this thing's going to need to move a thousand and thirteen pips right that's a lot so typically what we're going to do is just pips right we're going to say okay i'm i think we can make uh, 75 pips on this trade right here so we're getting in at 71.89 and that's telling us we'd get out at about 72.65 that's that's right around 75 pips so you can just type in pips or you can type in price. You can say, you know, I want to trade it to this area or that area. You can find the price and you can type it in right here. Or you can say how much money you want to make. I want to make 75 bucks. I want to make, uh, so 75 pips at a dollar a pip is a $75 trade. So same thing on the stop loss side of it. 
How many pips do you want to risk? Or what percentage do you want to risk? Or how many dollars do you want to risk? Or where do you want to get out? And you just type in that price. So pretty straightforward. We, we select our size. Um, we uh, uh, Dollars at risk. This is telling us right here, we're saying we're risking 25 pips. If we say, you know what, I actually want to risk 50 pips on this, it'll say we're risking 50 pips, which is a half a percent right there. And, uh, and there we go. So, so that's telling us our risk and our profit target. Everything's in play right there. Um, and then the only other thing to look at is if you want to get in at market right now, we click at market. If we want to buy a dip, we would use a limit order. And this is going to say, you know, in, in the example of this chart right here, I want to buy that dip and trade it up that way. I think it's coming down to here, for example. So we'd find out what level that is, 7092, for example. So we might say, I wanna buy at 7092, and uh, I wanna buy this size, and I'm gonna have this size of stop loss, and all these details right here, um, and that would be buying the dip. A buy stop would mean that we wanna buy a breakout, right? If, if we think this thing's heading higher, um, and we want to, you know, wait till that happens. Let's just say, let's look at this chart right here. Let's say that we've got um, a nice little resistance level kind of, you know, coming through here, which, which it's, uh, you know, it's already been hitting. Let's just look at that there. So, so as it's been hitting that, if you wanted to buy the break of that, you would put a buy stop, you know, above. So that means we want to buy the break and, and trade it higher. And that's why these numbers are red because they're saying the price has to be higher than the current market price. So this is currently trading at 71.90. And so we might need to put it at 7,200. So that's our buy stop. So buy stop is buying a breakout, a buy limit is buying the dip, and market is getting in right at the current price. And so once we put that order on, uh, let's say we get in at market. We're just saying we're gonna get in right here. If I just hit buy, and here we go, then you can see the details right here. Sometimes I'll close this box, but it's now telling me, uh, here's my trade, here's everything that's going on. Uh, I bought right here, my stop loss is here, my profit target's a little bit off the screen, it's up there, um, and you can see it all down here under positions. Uh, buy, 10,000 units, average fill price, take profit, stop loss, where the trade currently is. Okay, hopefully that's helpful. Let me know any questions, comments, details you have about that. Best of luck, and let's uh, let's let's have a good time trading with uh, TradingView. Thanks, guys. Take care.